If spending on education in 2011 increased by 14.2 billion from 2006, and spending on welfare, other, and healthcare rose by 5% from 2011 to 2016, what percentage of spending in 2011 was allocated to pensions? First, let's make this calculation for education. We're told that it increased by 14.2 billion from 2006. Let's calculate the 2006 value for education first. That's using 13% of the total here, which is 0 0.13 as a multiplier, multiplied by 491.8. That gives us 65.1 billion. We're told that that increases by 14.2 billion to give us a total of 79.3 billion spent on education in 2011. Now we need to know the percentage share of this in 2011. We don't know the total spending, so we need to do it a different way. We can find out the percentage increase from 2006 to 2011 and then apply it to this share. So we'll do that. The new value, 79.3, subtract the old value, and divide by the old value, then multiply by 100 to express the percentage, which is a 21.8% increase. Now let's start with this share, that's 0 0.13, and increase it by 21.8%. That's like multiplying by 1.218, and then express as a percentage, multiply by 100. That gives us a share of 15.8%. That's the share of education in 2011. Now let's look at welfare, other, and healthcare. We're told they rise by 5% from 2011 to 2016. Let's look at their values in 2016. Welfare is here, 9%. Other is here in blue. And the last one is healthcare, which is here in pink. So we're told that combined, they rose by 5%. So let's add them all up since they're combined. So 9% plus 35% plus 23% is 67%. If they rose by 5%, then this value is 105% of the original value. If we want to get back to the original, we'll divide by that. And 105% as a decimal is 1.05. That gives us 63.8%. So that's the combined share of all those three in 2011. We have education, we have the other three, and so we can find out the share now of pensions. That's just 100%, the total, subtract 63.8%, subtract 15.8%, which gives us a total of 20.4%.